So, I've come to a realization this morning. This realization is the simple fact that pendulums are the best deck in the planet. Might not sound so humble, but shut up before I take your girl on Bumble and we tumble and rumble in the bed and humble. Today's video is gonna be me showing you guys how amazing Pendulum is. So if you love Pendulum, hit that subscribe button! Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit that like button, comment what you want to see below. Let's go straight into the video. Friendly reminder, I know I haven't been posting a lot lately, but every single day until I get unbanned, I will be posting Pendulum Domination. So check back at my channel every single day not to miss out on pendulum destroying the meta so enjoy this video especially stay tuned until the end stay tuned until the end the video is a little bit slow to start but at the very end I, oh my god i otk through four or five interruptions three four games in a row it's absolutely mind-boggling wow enjoy the video guys it, is, it was an absolutely absolutely incredible incredible video pendulum is the best deck everyone knows this everyone knows it's the best going first not many know it's the best deck going second and i'm gonna prove that right now I don't need to prove it's the best deck going first. Everyone knows that. So I'm going to be showing you guys right now me destroying. I'm letting, I'm doing a trap deck right now. Uh, I'm doing Subterror Floodgate Dot deck. And I let them go first. Just to prove a point, man. Just to prove a point. Like, I right, want to dial on me, bro. You go first. You go first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give this guy a chance. We're going to be doing... Uh, we're going to be doing... Hey, let's show both over here. Show both hands. You won't be able to see most of it because he's some of it here, what he has. Uh... I'm going to be destroying him in a match right now. So it's going to be me versus Subterrors and then me versus Orcus right after. And it, I let him go first. Like, you don't let Trap decks go first, bro. So I'm going to be going a little fast here. Uh, he's Sanctums. I'm just like, yikes, dude. That looks bad for me. But you know what? The deck is built to go second because going first, it's already an auto win. So there you go. You see here, we go Garuda. Garuda is absolutely amazing. People need to play this in their Pendulum decks. I'm going to show you guys now just how to play Pendulum properly. You see crazy stuff where you're like, Orcus is how you break through boards going second and put up a free interruptions going first. And then you play cards like Garuda, man. You play multiple spell cards for your abductors. And even though you Sanctum me, it's okay. Decks that are bad play Sanctums because they can't do anything else. So you're not getting with decayed, right? You're not getting with decayed. So you just do you. It's okay. Like, it's all good. Let yourself get Sanctum. It's no problem. And I see over here, next turn, I have seven cards on board. I'm going to Garuda and slowly pop everything. He fiendishes the chronograph. I'm just gonna keep going here. Like you just keep going. You, like, you keep going, never ending. It is never ending, never ending. You keep going, keep going. Just like abductor search of center. Get rid of another back row. Now look at that. Just like that, we got one. We got just uh, the that lap right there. The super poly. And as you see, it just it's broken. This deck's just broken. You keep going, and then boom, super poly. We get cocked there. Uh, but we keep going. Look at this. Even though we had super. Look how many interruptions we're dealing with. Look at all those interruptions we're dealing with, bro. All those interruptions we're dealing with, and they still uh, can't deal with us. We're still too good. We're still too nice. We're going to pen call, get rid of everything, and, bro, it's just too damn good. As we see here, our plan is we want a Utopia double. You must play Utopia double in Pendulum. I don't care. This is not an option. We Yazi, get out Mare Mare. Mare Mare is then going to turn into a Boral Sword plus a level 4 required to go into Utopia double. So just like that, we're going to put up, look at that, look at that. Infinity damage, and then you can Orcus uh, combo right after with Harpoor. Like, that shit's absolutely nuts, bro. What the hell? Absolutely insane. Utopia Double is going to end up with a 10k attack, hitting over the Scythe for 7800, and then Boral Sword attacking the other for the next 200. Like, we dueled what? We, uh, Sanctum and Permanence and Super Pole. Yeah, it's like in everything, bro. The Guru uh, interruptions. Now, look, this hand's not even that good that we have. Every hand looks like this or a lot worse. You know what I mean? Like, the, every hand looks like this that we have. It's not even that good of a hand. We're going to be de dealing with all the interruptions. Look at this. We went through these three crazy interruptions, and we still got Exodia. We still got Exodia. We went through all three interruptions, and we still got Exodia. We still got Pengal Dark Worm, even though we went through all three interruptions. Like, boy, you can't tell me this is not the best deck. You already know it's the best deck going first. Going second, it still does this crazy stuff. We got rid of another interruption. Utilize your Dragon Pits, man. Just don't go to Black Fang all the time. I took that garbage card out of the deck. It sucks. Utilize this card. Utilize the Sentry. Utilize all these Chronograph effects to special itself out from your hand. Utilize all these, man. Utilize it into the void to draw all the cards you need. Don't play garbage, man. Like, you only play cards that are necessary. Like, you don't need to play a 20-card Pendulum Magician Engine when the Pendulum Magician Engine does jack shit. You just need to play as much as you need for Pendulum Calls and be able to access Oaf, Pit, and Harmo every turn. Everything else is not necessary. Harmo turns into any Yazi or a rank 4 that you need at any given time. And just like that, we pop the rest, you knew every, the Boral Sword was coming. Just like that, we're dueling a go first deck. Some terrors cannot go second. But when they go first, they're deadly. But we just obliterated him. 
We're not gonna go on to the next one. We face Orcas, okay? An even better version of Orcas. I'm like, oh, you go first. I want to die roll again. I'm like, you go first. I already know I'm putting up a whole Orcas combo and a whole Guard Dragon combo with Fog Bites and seven negates going first. He played a cool version of Orcas. He had Luna Light Orcas, which is so underrated. Luna Lights are amazing. Uh, so underrated uh, of a deck. Because they just, uh, that, with Dangerous and Orcas are amazing. I might do a video on it in the future. I just see over here, like, look, like, He's going to put up the typical Orcas board plus a Redoer. So I'm dealing with a typical Orcas board plus a Redoer. Plus he has all the Luna like cards to uh, give him a follow-up next turn. So the next turn, if I don't OTK him, I'm going to get OTK. Because the Luna Light's giving him the engine of OTK pro power after. So he Redoer's hits my shrine. I'm going to fortune. Now look at my hand. It's not even that good of a hand. But we're still going to break through everything. We're still going to break through everything. So we're going to keep going here. My goal's OTK. If you don't OTK, you're getting otk because he, he got the Crescendo instead. So he got the whole Orcas combo coming back. He got Luna Light combo coming back. He got Tiger in hand. Like, uh, it's not good for me unless I OTK him. So look at that. I could have Yazi there if I wanted, but my like, he has Redoer. It doesn't target Redoer. So my little brother going to pop everything. Little by little. He doesn't know Orcas are coming. He has no idea Orcas are coming. He has no idea whatsoever. So little by little. Little by little, we get rid of everything. Little by little. Pop, pop, pop. And then, like, bro, we just pop everything. Little by little. He doesn't know what's coming. Mermaid. He redoors because he's scared of Orcas combo. And like, hey, normal summon, get wrecked, son. Can't do anything about it, man. He can't do anything about it. The deck is too powerful. Look at that. Orcas server. I, I went to, uh, I don't do that. I go to Dengirsu first. So I summon Dingzo first before I draw. I told him before, I'm like, yeah, my bad. Uh, we're, we're testing. So before I went to Galate, I went Dingzo first. So Dingzo popped those two with Rusty. And then you draw two. So since you draw two, you're going to get the counter on Abductor for the draw. And you're going to keep playing. You didn't even pendulum summon yet. So the Orcas, Orcas combo ends up popping two cards your point of controls. Getting all the cards you need from Rusty, which got negated by Impermanence. So you get you know, all the, the Brigadine, the uh, Fog Bay, whatever you need. You draw two, and then you Pendulum Summon. Like, it's absolutely nuts. Like, look at this. And now we ended up getting the Countess from Abductor. I miscalculated. Triff Math was not here. I thought this was 8,000 damage exactly. But I'm an idiot. It was 7,900. And I didn't want to take it back. I just took the other one back. We were like, testing anyways, right? So this would have been uh, 8,000 by Attack of Boral Swords. What I should have done is Attack of Boral Swords, and it was game. It was 7,900. I couldn't do math, and I lost. I just scooped up. I couldn't believe. I, I couldn't calculate. I couldn't count uh, up to 8,000. I guess Triff can only count to seven, uh, seven negates. So I'm like, all right, let's go next game. I, I, gave, I gave that one to him, bro. I gave, I literally just gave, handed it to him on a silver platter. I'm like, yo, I couldn't count, so let's go game two. We're going game two, uh, same board. I'm going to deal with the exact same board, if not even a, a crazier board. Like, but I'm like, who cares? Uh, I'm going to OTK you through anything. This is a better hand, but every hand looks like this. We drew Time Gazer. I don't care if we drew Time Gazer. doesn't matter what bricks you draw. There's no bricks in this deck. They're all useful for something. You can even draw Fog Blade. It'll be useful. You can draw anything. It'll be useful. Like, people don't understand how broken this deck is, the way it's built. I'll show you guys a deck list in the future, but oh my god, man. Look at this. Like, we already got the counters of Abductor. You play nine ways into Abductor or Servant, right? What we're going to do, we're going to be like, you know what? He has. Uh, he doesn't have anything to negate the effect of Endymion. So we're going to force him to use Crescendo on the Endymion in scale uh, on the activation of the card. He, I let him take that back because he thought he could use it on the effect. So let him take that back to use the Crescendo on the uh, activation of uh, Endymion, not the, the, of the card, not the effect. Abductor Search Eccentric, pop another backer, just like for free. You got to play cards like Eccentric. You got to play cards like Garuda. It's absolutely insane. We got rid of all those interruptions. Now we're going to go Electrum. He has to in, uh, stop it. Now, like, we have one uh, interruption left. We're going to get rid of that interruption with Phoenix. Now look at that. Now there's nothing he could do. We're going to go into Mermaid to clear up the extra deck slot. You told me a double game. Everything in this everything in this meta has less than 2,000 attack. Orcas have less than 2,000. Galatea on board. Salamagre have 1,800 guy. Someone like Wolf on board. Uh, all Scott's your cards are under 2,000. It's so damn easy to OTK through this garbage meta, man. It's absolutely it's so easy. Like Through four interruptions, we OTK'd the, the guy. Like four. He had four negates. We OTK him through four negates. Four negates, not enough. You need five to deal with the pen god. Now we're going to a pivotal game three. I'm, I'm like, yo, I don't care if he goes first, second. With this hand, I'm breaking through any board. So he, he bricked, but I'm like, that's very disappointing. He bricked because I was breaking through any board with this hand. Same as the last one. You guys got to understand how to play properly. You know, be able to break boards like that. Like, I'm not a... Yeah, okay, I was about to say I'm not a special player. All right, fine, I am. I'm, I'm the GOAT of this game. I'm the greatest of all time. I won't even lie, and you guys will see when I get unbanned. But you can't just break infinity in the gates like uh, how I do. Yeah, I understand this game bricked a little bit, but you saw in the last game games. I OTK'd, what, three games in a row? Going second, I just obliterated the guy. Like, through five interruptions. This one I OTK'd through a brick, but still. Like, the deck's absolutely nuts, and I can't even begin to explain how amazing it is. I will show a deck profile in a future video. If you got this far, guys, hit the subscribe button. 
Uh, I'm going to be posting every single day Pendulum content to show you guys just how broken it is. I have some spice. I, I firmly believe I cracked the code. Finally, I cracked the code. This format is absolutely nuts. So just in time when I get unbanned. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button. Like the video if you like what you see. We'll see you guys tomorrow's video. Peace.